Welcome to the Bravura Security Demo Series featuring Bravura Safe. This video will demonstrate logging into Bravura Safe and authenticating with a secondary device without having to use your master password. If your company doesn't require single sign on, you can log into Bravura Safe using a registered secondary device instead of your master password for a true passwordless experience. You can initiate this type of login from a Bravura Safe browser extension web interface, or desktop application. Note that for the web application, Bravura Safe cannot register a browser in incognito or private mode. You can approve these login requests using a Bravura Safe mobile or desktop application. For any devices you want to log into using a secondary device, first log into Bravura Safe using another method so your device is recognized. Next, Prepare your secondary device by installing a Bravura Safe mobile or desktop application and logging into the same Bravura Safe account and server on that device so you can respond to login requests. Finally, enable login request approval on the desired responding device. For this demonstration, I've already completed steps 1 and 2. These steps are covered by other videos in this series. Next, we'll enable login request approval for the Bravura Safe mobile application followed by the desktop application. Open the Bravura Safe mobile application. To allow your mobile app to approve login requests made from other devices, tap Settings. Under Security, select Approve Login Requests. Tap Yes. Approve Login Requests is now turned on. The process is similar for a responding desktop application. I'll show the Windows app. Navigate to Settings using the menu. Again, in the Security section, select Approve Login Requests. Approve Login Requests is now enabled for the desktop application. I'll close Settings. We're all set up. We can now respond to Bravura Safe login requests using the mobile or desktop application on a secondary device. Let's see how Login with Device works. In this first example, I'll initiate a login to the Bravura Safe browser extension in Chrome. To respond to the request, I'll use the installed Bravura Safe mobile application for iOS. I've allowed Bravura Safe to send notifications. Here is the browser extension first login page. I begin, as always, by confirming I'm logging into the correct server, entering my Bravura Safe account email address, and clicking continue. On the second login page, where you would normally log in using your master password, there is now an option to log in with device. This button will only appear during login when you have previously logged in normally at least once to the same server and account on both the initiating and a responding client, and enabled approve login requests on the responding device. Click Login with Device. An authentication request is sent to any logged in Bravura Safe mobile or desktop apps for which you have the Approve Login Requests setting enabled, and this page appears. Authentication requests use uniquely generated and short lived public and private keys and an access code to pass the encrypted master password. They expire and are purged after 15 minutes if not approved or denied. Click to expand details to view a one-time fingerprint phrase for the request. This is an additional security measure. Note that this fingerprint phrase is unique to this login request and differs from your Bravura Safe account fingerprint phrase. On the responding mobile device, a notification appears. I'll tap the notification and unlock my phone. Login requests include the following information the email address of the person logging in, that's me, the server to which the user is attempting to log in, and the device type, in this case the Chrome browser extension. If I swipe up, I can tap to expand details to also view the one-time fingerprint phrase for the request on this responding device. Compare the fingerprint phrase to the initiating device. If the fingerprint phrases match, I can confirm the login request. The browser extension will locally decrypt the master password included in the request. If two-step login is required or enabled on your Bravura Safe account, for example, Bravura One-Auth, an authenticator app, or email verification, 
you will still have to respond to that authentication request before you can access your safe. If you previously selected the Remember Me option, you will be taken directly to your safe after login with device is confirmed. In this example, Brevera OneAuth is required as a two-step login method. Once I respond to that using my mobile device, I will have access to my safe from the Brevera Safe browser extension. If you're not receiving login requests on the Brevera Safe mobile app, try syncing your safe manually via Settings, Sync, Sync Safe Now. Let's see a quick second example where I initiate a login from the Brevera Safe web interface and respond using the desktop application. The steps are the same. As you can see, this zero-knowledge, passwordless login method saves you time while ensuring the security of login items and secrets stored in your safe. Give it a try. This concludes our demonstration of login with device using Brevera Safe. Thanks for watching. Brevera Security offers a range of demonstration and training options. Click the links in the description below to watch more demo videos or to register for training. Visit our website to learn more.